What up? Yeah. Hey. What up? Yeah. Hey. What up? Yeah. They got Wooski on the mix. Yeah. Hey. What up? What it do, cool family? It's your boy Kuno, and hey, I got some good for y'all today, right? Okay, so if you can see right here, this is me applying for Wireless Grizzly World, and I'm gonna walk y'all through the process of filling this application out. It's real detailed on the specifics of RP or playing RP. You know what I'm saying? So, first, let me start off. Let me get y'all on full screens. Whoa, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. Not that. I just grabbed this right here. Okay, so, wait, let me move this too. Okay, so, first off, if y'all can do me a favor and do what that screen tell you right there, right there, right here, right here. Hit that follow, right? Hit that follow, hit that follow. Come and support your boy. I'm posting this on YouTube. But anyways, this application was crazy. Let me just say it was crazy. It took me, most people it takes, if you're not, really wasn't good at reading and um, doing papers, then you probably have a hard time. It probably take you four. I know some people say it take them three hours, four hours, five, you know, days. It took me an hour and 16 seconds to do this. And it's only because I wanted my stuff to be good, so I will have to do it again. Okay, so when you're whitelisted, I mean, when you buy the whitelisted application, you get, I think, four tries. The first try, then you get three more tries after that. So... I'm going to play this video so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to just put myself down here. Now, I'm not going to do myself talking to nothing. I'm going to just walk y'all through what's going on in the in this. Okay, so right here, you have to access yourself um, with your uh, TBEX and all this. You go to, okay, we're just going to try and fast forward some of this. But, uh, I'm gonna fast forward some of this. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so as y'all can see, I'm looking real focused right now. I'm looking real focused, real focused, real focused. I'm trying to get down because, oh, and that's another thing. Let me pause. The application costs a hundred dollars. You you do the application. I mean, you pay for the application. You come and do your application. If you fail all four times, you do not get your money back. Once you once they send you that receipt, that's it. Your your, your money is theirs now. So whether you get in or not, you're not getting a hundred dollars back. Let me, let me point that out which I did a lot of research on it and I couldn't find no, I found one YouTube video on it and that was it. But other YouTube, no. So here I am again. Hold on. Okay, right here. You open it up. You go right here. And this is the first part of the whitelist application. You do your email, your Discord name, and you type on your receipt. They give you a receipt with your with your ID on there. Do not, if you stream this, do not show your uh, TBEX number because somebody can take that and send it to them and be like, hey, somebody, you know, stole my application or hey, you know, somebody used, used my TBEX ID and they can, you know, basically stop you from getting it, which I think, but I, I don't know 100%. I just know certain things you shouldn't show, you know what I'm saying? But this is where you come. Oh, this is where I seen had a little something, something. Hold on, so. And when you fill in that. Okay. So then you go over here after you went to donate. Right under it's going to give you your application. You come here. You do your. Uh, 
remember, hide your TBEX. Please hide your TBEX transaction ID number. If you streaming this, as you can see, I canceled that out because I'm doing payments. You know, don't let nobody see your card information, none of that. So when you get in, please explain in your own words what. Okay, please explain what role play means to you. As in, when they ask that and they say, "Please be detailed," you just can't say, "Oh, role play means you gotta play a role or you gotta act as if this is real life." No, they want you to break it down detail by detail. So, I'm going to show y'all what I put, and y'all can take that and, you know, think if I did good or if y'all think y'all could do it or copy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I'll go fast forward through that. And you have to be very detailed. If you did, if you was in reading classes, and you had to do a paper, you know what they mean by being detailed. Like you have to go in full detail. Okay, so I wish I could move this, but I was like, "What does role play means to me?" Hold on, Let me, I can't get that. Can I get that off of there? Oh, I can't get that off of there freak but well, anyways hold on because yeah i forgot to take this off i don't know why that's on there. and then it say please explain in your own words what past experience in role play you have meaning as if you did role play in other cities other servers other other games as in Red Dead, uh, GTA, what else do role play? I think those are the only two main role plays I know. Well, the servers that are like legit. So I'm like, I play the mini servers in RP, like Minish World, District 10, and my main server I play in called Red Zone RP. If you need servers to play in, out of the District 10 is Phantom, which is AMP. Uh, Menace World is dead now because, yeah, their people was not too good on keeping stuff up. Uh, but I said my main sh uh, server I play called Red Zone RP. I love that. I love, word to, word to the man above, I love that, that, that server. Nice. So if you're looking for a server, you don't want to get in whitelisted. Oh, and that's another thing. If. If you want to be in the Grizzly world and you don't want to pay the $100, they have a RP non-whitelisted. So that means that's free to play. But if you want whitelisted, you got to pay the $100, man. It's $108 with tax. $108. $108 to get the application. Uh, hold on, we're just going to skip through this so I can read it all to you. Okay. I said I have played in many servers in RP, like Menace World, District 10, and my main server I'm playing in called Red Zone RP. I've been role playing for a minute and I take it serious. Some servers just don't know how to take RP serious. Uh, what did I say right there? Oh, and it really kills the GTA RP community. Which meaning when I say that, I like playing real life. Like how I'm playing in real life. That's, I mean, how I am in real life, that's how I want to be in the game, but doing illegal stuff and all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, who wants to be in a bad RP? Every time you, you, you jump in, somebody, put your hands up, boom, you're dead. No, I don't want to play that. Every time? No, I'm not. So, that's why I choose to play a whitelisted account in detail express what makes you a quality uh role player that sets you apart from other applicants and then we're going to fast forward through what i said
I think I wrote a lot on this one. Okay, my headset just went dead. Let me plug this back in. I wrote a lot, didn't I? Okay, I said, I said I'm more apart from most applicants because I take games serious, especially RP games. I love to meet new people, love to play games, give me a chance to live a life that I'm not living in real life because a lot of us is not living a life we're playing in GTA, honestly. But there are some in real life that play, I mean, that's, you know, got their, got their lifestyle. I said I stream on Twitch as well, so I take a lot of games serious. I'm not an easily angered person to get mad over what a person says to me or about me true because i don't care about people's opinion my opinion is the only opinion i care about i love getting to know people and i obey the rules and the people and the people of the game i just want to get money work and show my rp swag off <laughs> yeah i know i hey i love my swag man for real i love my swag so then this right here this is a role play scenario which was the easiest stuff ever that they asked. Okay, so it say you are robbing a store and the cashier reaches for and pulls out the shotgun stored under the counter. You didn't shoot and kill the cashier. Is that considered RDL? I, I just wanna see if y'all if y'all can answer that question correctly because in real life, if I'm at your gun I'm at your store with your with my gun held up to you, robbing you. And you reach and pull that bar the, the the back of that back of it out. I'm blowing you. I'm blowing you. Cause you finna blow me. I'm not finna let you take me before I take you. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as I see that see that 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 black or or whatever on the back of that bit, I'm letting it go. Boom, right to your head. Straight like that. So they said that considered RDM. That just like, okay. That's just like uh, when you're robbing people and you're in RP and you're robbing somebody and they be like, gun to the back of your head, put your, hand, put your hands over on, or, uh, or I'm going to kill you. You reach for it, soon as you do like this, boom, you dead. Because you, you, you can't pull no money from back there. You got to put your hands up. Hey, take whatever you want. That ain't RDM. That ain't RDM at all, so... Uh, going to the next, hold on, let me, let me make this screen bigger. No display capture, yeah. Okay. So then, if you listen to my voice, watch, listen to me. Sorry, hit my vape because I'm nervous over this $100 that I'm paying. Because he reaching while you got the pole on. So if you reach for that, I'm going blow him. I'm, I'm blowing. Before he blow me. Exactly, I'm blowing. You ain't finna blow me. Okay, say so, uh, Chris and Sam are involved in a, in a gunfight. Chris down Sam and he goes unconscious. EMS takes Sam to the hospital for surgery. Is it okay for Sam to hunt Chris down? Simplest questions. If you is a serious RP player, you should know this answer already. No, because if I get shot, boom. And I go down. That's it. EMS takes me to Sam's hospital for surgery? No. Because Sam doesn't remember what what happened. You you got shot. You don't know what happened. You could have went into you could, you went in a coma, you died, whatever. It don't matter. Let's say 
uh, provide a detailed explanation as to why you can or cannot remember anything after dying and resurrected at the hospital. You shot. You dead. I ain't, that's it. Only even if you was to go down and your time went out, I mean, didn't go out, you still couldn't do nothing about it. You can't do nothing about it. Nothing. You can't do nothing about this. Nothing. So then, I said, well, as in real life, if you get shot or killed, then the brain is dead. That's it. The brain OD is dead. Just like in real life, if you die, you don't remember shit. Your brain is crumbled. That's a, that's a crumbled brain. So then, I said, don't know what happened as in role play sign rules are standard that's why it's called oh that's why it's called role play or rp whatever you want to call it and then, and then that's why i really just got it in the details because that's what they wanted i said are we are pursuing a real life in game life in game life we are pursuing a real life in game life that's rp you gotta play your role you know what i'm saying second we say a detail explain when it is permitted to kill another character if you don't know about permitted permitted is meaning as in giving you that 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 gate to just open up and let you go out there and and and, and do something allows you so it's a in detail explain when it is permitted to kill another character. Let me see. And we if you if you play RP, you should know this. If you don't, then do your research on some stuff so you know what you're getting yourself into. I said when a person shoots shoots at you or when a person punches you twice. Also, if a person is in a gang and they yell the gang name and add K after it, meaning as I say, if you're in a gang called Slime Life, and I come in there, Slime Life K, yeah, I will, I, I'm dissing your hood. I mean, I'm dissing your gang. Now what you going to do? Yeah, I want you to pop off. Let's get it. And if they start a war with your gang, so... A person can't a person can talk talk shit to you and walk off, you know what I'm saying? So if a person just walk up to me be like, Yeah, I kill you right now and I keep walking, I'll be like, Okay, do it. You you kill me, that's RDM. That's RDM. I, I did it initiate, but you did, so you can't do nothing about it. You're go, you're gonna get this banned though. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get banned. Oh well. Or you might get A jail. A jail is admin jail, which is like 30 minutes, an hour. It depends on what you did. Okay, this is role play terminology. So, so it say, in your own words, explain what new life rule is and why. It is a rule in the server. Okay, so if anybody don't know what NLR is, I've never had to go through that. I had to research it, as you seen back there. I was like, new life rule. But then, see, me in character, I know CK is kill character. I mean, character kill, which means you got to see, which means new life rule. So, say for instance, somebody, somebody, um, uh, you do like a certain like type of war or type of agreement with another gang or another person and you be like first player die or whatever if i ck you which is character kill that means you can't no longer use that same character no more you got to you got to create you a whole new character but you can still be in the game and you probably still have all your stuff but if you drop stuff on you then you can't get none of that back. That's up for that's up for free grabs. So 
be careful on how y'all play it out there, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're going to keep it going. So just remember, new life rule means CK, character kill, means you got to start a whole new life. That's why it's called new life rule. And see, I really had to go back and look into it and see what they was talking about. Okay, I said, in service, they have the new life rule because if you die and they say, te, I mean, and they say, I mean, I don't know why I put, and they say, tell, and they tell you it's okay. I mean, it's CK, character kill, meaning that's, meaning, uh, I, I hate that. that. That cringed me. I, how did I not see that? I was so tired last night. I was up to like, Three in the morning doing this. Meaning that character is dead and can't be brought back to life. Which means you lost it due to whatever the situation might be of you losing that body and the brains of that character. Also, to give a person another chance to have another character created and, and start it over. Which means that's new life. You got, you got to start a whole new life. And you see, I'm... I'm going in to see, to make sure everything was right. But I think I, I use, see, that's what I did. I use this because I'm like, okay, this makes more sense, but it's saying the same thing to me. Upon death during active RP, your character does not actually die unless you decide to permanently kill off your character. But you are not allowed to return to the scene of your death for at least 15 minutes. So wherever you die, you cannot go back to. Any loot you may have dropped, it, ooh, excuse me, it's now forfeit up for grabs by anyone and should not expect to have a return. Your character forgets all events leading up to your death. Details about how, where, and who killed you may not be released. You may choose to RP an injury to account for the event. So that's like basically what I was saying, but this is more like, detailing it out than what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? So I just took that and ran with it. In your own words, explain what random death match is and why it is a rule in the server. Okay, so random death match is, like I was saying, if somebody come up to you and just blankly just boom, shoot you, and you ain't, you ain't doing nothing. You could be in your car and somebody just ride by, boom, 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 dumping at you. That's RDM. And that's when you do T slash call admin, space, hey, uh, RDM. And make sure you always clip your stuff. If you don't have metal or uh, or the Xbox game bar downloaded onto your PC, get you some type of capture because everything is proof with admins. If you don't have proof, they can't do nothing about it. So, metal, I use metal, which is the which is the best thing. So, like, I will show y'all, but we're in the middle. I'll show y'all, uh, like, what RDM is and all that. But I was like, RDM is a rule because you have people who don't follow server rules, little kids, and just ride around and kill people for no reason. That's RDM. And you can get times... It depends on how many people you, it depends on how many people reported you RDM. So if you kill four people in a row and they all killed you, that's going to, that got to go for a ban. Or some people probably be nice enough and, you know, hit you for a, a ban for two days, three days. Or they probably give you a jail or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's what RDM is. And, and that's it. And it gives servers a chance to kick those or discipline those who are not following the rules and gets a critical ban, a, a jail, or a community service, which everybody done done community service, where you're out there on that, that, on that airfield and you just sweep it. You got to sweep 50 times. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, right here it says in detail, explain what difference between rdm and vdm is okay so if if you're not too good at rp 
RDM is random death match, which meaning shooting you on site. BDM, if you walking across the street and a vehicle just, mm, and you just walking across the street and he smash you, that's VDM. That's that's another, that's like another, it's called vehicle death match. So if you don't know nothing about these rules, read before you get into these servers. Read the rules. Because a lot of servers are different. They are similar, but different. And I'm like, RDM is random death match, which, mean, which means a person who kills for no reason or who don't. Wait. Okay, I said, which means a person who kills for no reason. VDM is vehicle death match, which means a person who kills or run over a person with a vehicle. That, you can't do that in an RP. Unless, unless you driving real fast. And he just blank, he just come out of nowhere and just boom. Then that's not VDM. You can clip that if they try and get you. Bang! You can show them. Hey, my screen shows this. It was it was a it, he. You know how people glitch in and glitch out. That, that's all. Everything on RP is done by captures. Okay, this right here is character description. So. This one right here, I really didn't understand, so I, I basically made my player just seem like he just trying to get, you know, get right with himself, but in real life, I'm trying to bah, 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 bah. gang, gang. <laughs> nah, I just play. But uh, as part of joining the Grizzly World RP whitelist, you will need to show that you are capable of creating a character and maintaining a storyline that is consistent with said character's past and demeanor. Write a detailed biography, two to three paragraphs, if you went to school, you know a paragraph is five lines about your character, including its past, the present, and why they have, I mean, what they have planned for the future. So if you wasn't good at reading school, I mean, reading classes, this, this is where your reading class skills come in at. A paragraph is, is four to five sentences. So I'm going to show y'all what I wrote and y'all tell me how y'all think about that. So let me skip ahead. Let me see. I'm going to just skip all the way ahead because I know I wrote a lot. And as y'all see, look, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I just went crazy on this last one. But I said, hold on. I said, Kudizi is a 26-year-old man who is moving from New York to Chicago because I had to make it, I had to make it seem like an actual, you know, real life story. So I'm like, Kudizi. Cool Deezy is a 26-year-old man who is moving from New York to Chicago, trying to get away from bad people and bad doings back in New York because this man was a menace, you know what I'm saying? I said, Cool lived a very savage life and was also a bit of a troubled child. Now that he is grown, he is trying to turn his life around and get a fresh start. Since his family disowned him after the tragic he built up in the city, and the violence he was getting into. Family disown you. You gotta. You, you ain't got nowhere to go. You gotta. You gotta move out. He now has gotten out of jail and is moving to Chicago with a cousin to get back on his feet and to get a job. He is planning to seek a better life and a better lifestyle than he had in New York. He loves to work on cars and have flashy cars, so he is looking to see if he can get into mechanic shops. He also cuts hair and looking to find a barber shop to work at. That boy know how to work on cars because he used to he he was still in cars. He know how to cut hair because he was in jail cutting hair. I mean in prison cutting hair. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make you gotta make the points. It you gotta make the points act on it. I said in the future, Koo plans to have his own mechanic shop, barber shop, and clothing store. Remember, I told y'all Koo wanted to show off his 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 swag, right? Yeah, Koo like clothes. Yeah. He wants to become rich so he could leave his past and he, he can leave his past in the past and show everybody that gave up on him that he was able to be talented and 
talented in something other than criminal activities and violence. He just wants to live a peaceful life and be able not to look over his shoulders anymore and have a beautiful family and show the world how a bad guy can turn out to be good. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me that wasn't no W, though. Tell, tell me that didn't make you feel like, damn. Cool really trying to change his life out here. Yeah, go on, man. Clap it up for me, man. Clap it up for me, man. I got, I, I was perfect in, in reading classes. I love writing. When I'm mad, I like writing. When I'm angry, I like writing. When I'm sad, I like writing. I like writing. Like, seriously, I like writing, bruh. But anyway, we're going to get back to this. We're almost done. Uh, it said, based on your character, write about whether your character would steal from the supermarket if they really needed to, why or why not. I'm not going to steal from no supermarket. I'm, I'll steal from a human before I steal from a supermarket. It's not enough money there for me. I said, no, supermarkets don't carry much cash to try and get him killed or shot. True. Supermarkets are, and I kind of, I kind of, I kind of went in on this because, I mean, homeless people are the ones that are still not a supermarkets. You don't see regular people really still not a supermarkets. Because, I mean, it's really, what, what do you, what did you really go steal? I, I I didn't I didn't understand that I didn't I didn't understand that. Which that question was kind of I don't know I didn't I didn't feel like I don't know that 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 certain question wasn't actual like given RP because what supermarket what 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 is we still not a supermarket other than money and they don't carry much cash but uh. Okay, and then the last one, it say, what's a possible future prediction you can make for your character? Provide reasoning based on your character's past actions or history. Why does that even matter? Like, like I could say, oh, I'll be the richest man in the world. I get in the game, and and, and I see K my character. Then what I'm going to say? Like, you can't predict that. Like, those two questions, the last two questions, they really just... Google some stuff, probably, just to see. But you know me, man. You, 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 can't, you, can't, you can't make a fish get on the hook, and I'm not that fish. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I'm going to show y'all what I said. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, it said, uh, I said he would become rich and own his own mechanic shop or clothing store for sure. He might get in a little trouble with the law. Who ain't finna get in trouble with the law in RP, though? I'm just saying. You get into some trouble, you go, you fall down to get up. Especially when I'm coming to a new city, I'm coming to tear it up. I'm looking for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for everybody. But he would most definitely be rich enough. To be able to stay away from the trouble. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be out there. I'm Go get that bag. Hey, go get that bag. You know what I'm saying? That me, that me, I'm going to go get that bag all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go get that bag. But it said, do you confirm that all answers in this application are yours? And that if application are yours and that if accepted, you will be expected to hold the rules to the highest standard. I mean, what I need to go back for, I, I, I've i sat this whole time for an hour and some doing this. So, yeah. You see, look, you see me, I'm, thank you. Ouch. The freak. But, like I said, Grizzly World RP whitelist application. Now, now, now what y'all need to do I probably need to go back some. Yeah, I need to go back some. Because there's some stuff y'all need to do when y'all get into this. 
Hold on. Okay, nah, 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 nah. That's 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 over with. Oh snaps. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, man, I am the first person on this earth to explain to y'all and walk y'all through every question, every scenario of of this of of this grizzly world rp so if you want to take some serious if you're a streamer if you want to take it serious if you're becoming a streamer like me i'm becoming a streamer i'm a new streamer becoming a new streamer you want to play real rp we all we all watch t grizzly and and hp duke duke do movies I want to be I want to be part of that movie. I want to be in there. I want y'all to hear my voice, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to come visit me, see me. Hey, look. Y'all y'all going to remember me. You know what I'm saying? And I have not got accepted yet because I just as you can see, I did I mean, as y'all know, I did this yesterday. Well, I did this this morning. It's 8:40 p.m. for me. I did this at 2 in the morning. So, I'm posting this on Facebook, on YouTube so everybody uh, know what to expect because me, everybody was just saying pay $100 and do the application, pay $100 and do the application. No, but ain't nobody breaking it down of me. $100 is a lot just to be in the server first off. So I need to know everything. I need to know if I can get my money back. I need to know if I can, if I, if, if y'all kick, if, um, you know, if I don't win nothing for, uh, get none of the other four right. I need to know if I need to get my money back. I need to know what, what I'm coming into. Do I get a starter pack? All that. So when you, when y'all get it, y'all can follow my Discord. Also, I'm gonna post my Discord. I mean, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna post my Discord in the link below, so y'all can ask me any questions of anything that y'all need to know, man. Y'all let me know. This is a 37 minute clip, so y'all can skip through some and whatever man i just want everybody to make it you know what i'm saying especially when you're spending a hundred dollars your hard-earned money but i understand they tell you to pay that hundred dollars because they need to know if you really into this rp stuff because they making this into a movie type if you see it on youtube you see you see how everybody is cordial on there you see how everybody, you ain't got people just riding and shooting you. None of that. So, y'all can thank me later, man. So, hey, hopefully, I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna do a, a results um, video also on my Twitch. Y'all can follow me at Kuno TTV. I'll be on Twitch. So, y'all let me know, man. Come follow your boy. Come check your boy out, as y'all can see right here follow hit that follow game you know what i'm saying but anyways y'all have a good night man and hey man if you're an rp if you if you not coming to grizzly uh whitelist it don't matter bro just have fun bro it's pc life over any life you know what i'm saying man we out they say they on they block, it's time to slap. Scoop them up, ayy. Lil' bro walking up, masked up, suited up, ayy. Catch him by that stove, up the pole, shoot it up, ayy. Switch up on the Glock, make him hop, double dutch, ayy. Lil' bro over cold, he got two poles, double duck, ayy.